We've made tremendous progress in the last decade. Ten years ago, uh, we were struggling in a number of ways in the Denver Public Schools. And now we've completely flipped that. Our kids make more academic growth than uh, students in any of the surrounding districts. And we see thousands more families coming back into Denver, staying in Denver because of the schools. So there's something for everyone. While we've made great progress, we have a vision that every child succeeds. We haven't gotten there yet. We know that we need to accelerate the progress that's made. Where we are is, uh, is not acceptable if we believe in ha every child succeeding. We have an extraordinary opportunity in front of us, which is to dramatically improve the education for our lower income kids in a way that no other city in this country has done. That opportunity is at the center of the Denver plan. What's at stake here in Denver with regards to the 2020 plan is really how far, how great Denver wants to be. If our vision is that every child succeeds, we have to do some very specific things to ensure that that vision is realized. We have five goals, and foremost, most important, overarching goal is that we have great schools in every neighborhood. Schools are the heart of successful communities. It's gonna to have to come from people who say that I care about education in Denver because I care about the future of our city. We have a role to play. Every one of us need to figure out what lane we need to be in. And in playing that role, they're helping ensure the success of our communities. In those great schools, we need to uh, ensure that our kids have a strong foundation for success. In one section, put your R. In 2020, I will have students that come to me on grade level, motivated, ready to learn. I have a couple of friends that I have reached out to and said, hey, you are a part of this. And then? It could be coming in to read with the kids, maybe coming in to help with homework, being a mentor, a buddy to, to a student, coming and checking in on them. It involves everyone. It means the kids are graduating from high school, they've either got the background and the foundation to succeed at college, or they're ready to go to work in, with technical skills, with math skills, in various programs or businesses in our community. What we've been very strongly encouraging is our businesses find some way to try to offer whatever support they can providing internships and, and giving our kids a glimpse of what their future might be. We get to do hands-on learning, like going out here to learn. Through the partnership we have with Sprout City, the first farm to cafeteria program in the state was able to come to life. We're preparing them for careers and for college in the 21st century. It's gonna to have to come from the grassroots level and people getting involved in their buildings, in their schools, in their community in order to make that happen. If you want to look at success, you have to look at the whole child because success is going to be a different kind of thing for every student. To know that some of these kids come to school with more than they can handle, students have to feel supported. They have to be encouraged. They have to feel that someone cares about them. NICASA partners with two different school campuses, the Lake Middle School campus and the North High School campus, and we provide a wide variety of out-of-school time programs. Our first module is leadership. And it really is about looking at the holistic needs of the students and how are they developing socially and emotionally, and that's so important to their future success in life. The kids who we most talk about are most challenged educationally are the kids who are going to be leading this nation by 2030. Amazing things are happening. Important is definitely thankful. We are providing one hour of enrichment programs for about 200 students. We have so much support from parents, from teachers, but we also have a lot of volunteers. Hopefully these kids, they are going to see themselves as a, someone who can change the environment where they live. We all have a role to play. It's our plan. The Denver plan really is about a plan for the whole city. The success of our schools starts first and foremost with the level of engagement of our community. A grassroots movement coming from every neighborhood. Find something that you can be good at in a school. The difference it would make in our schools is exponential. We call it Denver plan because we believe it's our whole city's uh, effort to ensure that every child succeeds.